Okay, guys, we're going to demonstrate using the if else if block, um, doing a program um, that asks the user to enter a number between 1 and 10. And depending on the number they put in, we're going to display the Roman numeral value of that number. Um, so right away, let's get started. I'm going to create a new Java class. So right click here on source, new Java class. And the name of it will be Roman numerals. Click on finish. And for this program, you know, we're not creating other files to then have multiple files working together. Um, we're just learning how to use the if else if statements. So we don't have to create multiple files in this case. Um, right away though we are asking for input from the user so I'll import Java util.scanner and right away I'll create a main method public static void main string args and go ahead and create my scanner object. Okay. Ask the user, please enter a number between one through ten. I'll even put a little colon there. I create an integer called value equal to the keyboard dot. Gotta love IntelliSense. Next. Well, uh, because we're accepting an integer, it needs to be next int. And now we use our if, else if, else if, else if, else if blocks. If value double equals a one. Best practice to put these curlies, even though if it's only one statement, you don't have to. Uh, system out print line the Roman numeral I for one. Else if value double equals a two. System out print line the Roman numeral I I for two. Else if value double equals three. System out print line triple I. Else if value double equals four. Remember the double equal sign. That's comparing two values, not assigning one value to the other. System out print line IV for four. Else if value double equals a five. V for a five. And we continue. Else if value double equals six. VI for six. Else if value double equals seven. Else if value double equals eight. Else if value double equals nine. Nine would be IX. Else if value double equals ten. 
system out print line x now we also want to display an error message if the value is anything other than a number 1 through 10 I'm going to do a trailing else block here so this else block says if the value is not 1 through 10 if it's any number besides 1 through 10 we're going to run this else block in which case we will say system out print line the number was not valid and I could have done this using a switch statement um, using a case one case two case three and so on uh, coming down to a default value would replace the else block so actually a switch statement could also be used to write this program um, but for now we are demonstrating if else if blocks or we'll call them decision statements so again if none of these are true remember this is the else block aka the false block if all of these are are not true then this is what runs if it's false let's test it gonna hit run please enter a number between 1 and 10 I'll enter the number 5 notice the output we get is a Roman numeral V which is correct If we run it again we enter the number 6 we get VI enter again the number 50 the number was not valid run it again you could test it as many times as you like and if you wrote it correctly if I wrote it correctly if I type in a negative 1 the number is not valid a zero the number is not valid a large number well that throws an exception and <laughs> we haven't learned about those yet um, but keep it a number that's acceptable within an integer value um, roughly numbers negative two uh, billion to positive two billion not valid finally the number two I I and that's a demonstration of the if else if blocks.